All right, everybody, welcome back. Now we are going to get into a normal takeoff, okay? So a couple different things. Let's talk about how that takeoff's gonna work before we actually get in and do it. I'm gonna have my hand on the throttle, one hand on the yoke. I'm gonna push that power forward, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000. That's the longest I want it to go, okay? We don't wanna waste time dilly-dallying with pushing that power and we need that power to get down the runway, especially on a shorter runway. So push it all the way in. We keep our hand there for the remainder of the climb out of the pattern because we don't want this throttle to creep. So hand on the yoke, hand on the throttle, throttle stays there, three seconds for power, okay? What we're doing is we're using the propeller to accelerate down the runway and create lift underneath the wing. At a certain speed, it's a, quite a low speed, it's going to create enough lift for us to take off and then climb. That speed in this airplane is 60 miles per hour, okay? However, I don't want you really looking at the airspeed indicator. We will we'll make sure it's working as we roll out, but I want you to feel what it feels like, okay? We're gonna get a little bouncy on our feet at about 60 miles per hour. The airplane's just gonna feel like it's ready to take off, and I'm gonna increase that back pressure kind of like this. That's all it's gonna take. It's gonna lift that nose right off the runway, and then we have a nice little angle of attack that lifts us off and we start climbing out and then we'll go into the climb out phase and I'll explain that when we do it. We maintain rudder, uh, or rather center line alignment with our rudder. Since we have a left turning tendency in this airplane, I'm gonna be adding or subtracting right rudder pressure, smoothly right rudder pressure, finding that sweet spot to stay right on that center line. So that's kinda how all the controls work, okay? If we have any issues, then we will stop here on the runway. If we take off after the runway and we can't turn back under uh, 800 feet on our departure leg, then we will land straight ahead. If we're on our crosswind, we can make it back to the airport, okay? That's kind of my uh, takeoff departure plan. All right, so now I'm gonna do what's called lights, camera, action. This is my opportunity to make sure that there's no traffic in the pattern. I'm gonna turn on my lights. My camera would be my transponder. Now this transponder automatically goes to altitude mode when I take off. So I'm just going to leave it right where it's at. Otherwise I can put it in altitude mode. And then action is a 360 degree turn to check the pattern. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to pop. Radio 9 power up a little bit. Mike, and just stand on that brake. And I'm scanning the sky, okay? The, my pattern's on this side. I'm scanning the sky. And I don't see anyone. So I'm going to roll out for takeoff and announce that I'm doing so. Checking final as well. More traffic, 2 3 in a form, taking runway. Four, staying in the pattern, Homer. All right, so we're gonna creep out here. Always check that final. Don't mess around right here. Don't spend too long on the runway. We're gonna get aligned with center line. I'm gonna start increasing that power, okay? My power's all the way in. Airspeed is alive, engine is in the green. And now I'm just waiting for that lift to get produced. A little bit of right rudder pressure to stay on center line and she's already ready to fly. Start adding that back pressure, and there we go. Okay, now I'm maintaining center line as I depart the airport, okay? I wanna stay right on center line, compensate for that wind, because if anything was to happen, I'm just gonna land straight ahead, basically. That's where the clearest spot is gonna be around an airport, usually. All right, so then I'm going to find my pitch attitude for my climb. In this case, we want VY. We're a smaller airport, don't necessarily need VX. We're a large area airport. In other words, it's clear around us. Okay, I put my nose, the cowling, right on the horizon out there. That's kind of what it looks like to me. And I trim to make sure I'm there. If I do that visual sight picture here, I don't really even need to look at my speed. But look, it's right at 80, where it should be. Maybe a little bit nose down. And so we've already set up our VY just by visually looking outside the airplane, okay? Now depart in the distance to a point that will line you up with that runway departure because now we can't see it below us. And then now we're gonna start transitioning into that pattern. So I'm gonna make a right crosswind turn. More traffic, two, four, two, three, and a four. I'm right crosswind, runway four, staying in the pattern. 
And there's my right crosswind. I'm gonna reduce power since I'm staying in the pattern. And that's it, guys. That is a normal takeoff, all right? Subscribe, like, share, and I will see you in the next video where we'll do a normal landing. All right, until next time, throttle on. Fly on over to aviatortraining.com for online ground school, podcasts, videos, and more to become or grow as an aviator.